Okay, so let's take it to the car. This is another way to help understand the kernel and its role in the operating system, Linux specifically. Now, today cars require computing. We need something between us as the user and the machine, the things that do the work in the car to translate what we want the car to do. So all of the controls, the clock, um, I have a USB, an auxiliary port here. All of these ports, all of these things require, if I put something in here, I need the kernel to give me permission to do that thing, okay? Now, for the mechanics of the car, you know, were it not for the mechanical portions, we would be driving cars the way Fred Flintstone did, okay? <laughs> but now we have better mechanics and we also have computing to help us uh, navigate and get to where we wanna go in today's cars. Now the console and the dashboard, these are like the command line, okay? They too are for users, for us to understand what's going on in our cars at any time, at any moment. And if we need to adjust something, say the, you know, the air, it's pretty hot today, so I might wanna put that over here. You know, if we want to do that, then these are the interfaces that we use to be able to do that. And again, with computing in cars nowadays, that command that I just gave to be cooler would have to go to an operating system that would then give permission to access the hardware in my car so that the air can come on.